I was born in 1966. I spent my younger years growing up in the 70s. And one of my fondest memories is I used to, my mother used to take me to this barber shop. And there was this chick in there by the name of Bebe. Bebe had this huge afro. And she always smelled so good. She was very, very sexy. Even at a young age. I could, she was like the Commodore. She was built like a brick house, big air for, big air fro, the soft hands. And I loved getting my hair cut by Bebe. I would wait. I would go in and then, you know, I was a pretty cute little kid. And I was like, I want Bebe to cut my hair because when she would cut my hair, I would get these tingles and these sensations in my head and it felt so good. And I was like, this was before puberty, so I didn't even really know anything about sex. And it really wasn't sex, it was more of a good, sensuous, like when you get a really good massage. Cause I, I would like get my hair cut and get those sensations and pop out the chair and be feeling really, really good. I remember that growing up in the 70s was awesome. I think that was a time when black America was waking up and there were so many things because I have all of these fun memories of these men in my neighborhood with the little afros and the sideburns because that was a, a very popular look for the 70s, you know, little afro outside ferns, these big old ties. And it was just a special time because the movies, how many of you remember Jane Kennedy and Leon Isaac Kennedy and Sister Sledge? I had such a crush on Sister Sledge, all of them. And once again, I was such a young man and it, it wasn't like, they just look good to me. It wasn't really about sex. It was just, I knew I was heterosexual at a very early age. Because with Bebe, let me go back to Bebe. Bebe was about 5'2", and she wore these, these stacked boots and these go-go pants and this little blouse. And she had a really, and I mean, she was, she was just so sexy. I, I, I knew I had a crush on Baby. I knew I had a crush on Baby. I had a crush on her, Sister Sledge, because every time they would come on Solid Gold, this was the show that used to come on, I would just sit there and be like, I want her to be my girlfriend. I didn't even know what being a girlfriend was about. But my mother incidentally had a 1966 Mustang, the same year that I was born. It was, uh, like a electric blue, like a silverly blue. And I used to love that car. It was just such an iconic car and I did not know how special that was. And this is when my mother was still normal because she would have friends. And I remember that we would go over to all of these people's houses. I mean, she had several friends. And we would go over there and they had kids. We would play with their kids. We would talk. And it was really a cool. I remember she had this friend that lived, used to live in the West End of Birmingham, Alabama. And there was a wonderful neighborhood, a lot of a working class neighborhood. And they had this huge park. And we would go over there and then she'd be with her friends and take off and head to the park. The park was all, I mean, the park was full of kids, full of kids, you know, just meets kids. And making friends back then wasn't really a challenge. You just show up and they're like, hey, what's up with you? What's your name? All right, let's play. I mean, it was like that. And I feel that the 70s was also a turning point because we went from the 70s to the 80s and then we moved to the 90s. And the 90s is when a lot of stuff started to fall apart in the black community, a lot of stuff. But in the 70s, there was such a richness in the music 
There was such a richness in the language and it was about black love and brotherly love. Cause somebody would come up, what's up home slice? What's going on? I mean, it was just so much love and affection. And we went from that in the seventies and the eighties was a washing out period to the nineties. Like, what up Ian? We went from that Donna Summer, the Commodores, Lionel Richie when he was with the Commodores, they graduated from Tuskegee. I mean, the music was so cool. The music was so loving. The music was so energetic. And I remember growing up, I don't know if you remember this. I don't remember eight tracks, these big old cassettes you put up in your eight track. And we had a stereo at home that had, had a phonograph that played records and it had an eight track. And my mother used to be part of the Columbia house where they would send you eight tracks every month and we would get eight tracks. And I remember my grandmother was still alive at this point. And it was just so much fun. It was so, it was probably the most enjoyable moments of my childhood. I would say from the first 1970, to 1970, I would have been four. Yeah, all of the 70s, up until about 12. It was really enjoyable. It was a lot of fun. It was always going. And there were several pictures of us dressed up. I remember going to church for Easter and having to say my, my hymn, say my scripture. It was just a different time. It was a different level of affection. It was a different, cause see, part of the reason I'm doing this content and there are many people it's like, this channel used to be about business content. You know, I can go through my Gmail account and see if you ever come in. And every time someone says that you've never commented on the business content, you never commented and to this day. If I make a business type related video on this channel, it does not go that far. It just does not go that far. Now I can make business related content on Savage Finance and it'll explode. I did a video the other day it's got like 15,000 views. I cannot remember. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I got six videos of Savage Finance with like 15, 25,000 views. I can't remember the last time I got that many views on the video over here. And there will be an adjustment in the content. I will be talking about the black community, reparations and all this other stuff because that's what y'all respond to over here. Like. I have not had a video take off since the rich people of Atlanta. It was the last video that took off on this channel. And you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to figure out because essentially what's going to happen is I can already tell you the shift has happened. I'm probably going to make four to $5,000 in AdSense money for Savage Finance. I've never made that over here. I've never made that over here. And what's gonna happen is since I'm not posting as often, because the thing is, um, I'll probably do 2,000 over here. So collectively I'll get close to 7,000 in AdSense between both channels. And then the third channel starting to come on because my intention is to run programming. Cause see, if you go to the front of the channel, you'll see I have five channels and it's the camera network. So I have all kinds of programming because for a lot of you people who are upset that I say the things I say, you need to go subscribe to the Mindset Coach channel. Because if I did that content over here, I would just make things worse. Because, you know, it, it was like the people who are looking for that content will not find a cohesive tightness. Because what's, what's happening with Savage Finance is the people, or because I'm getting a lot of new subscribers. They're not coming from this channel. Because most of the people on this channel don't even know about Savage Finance because the way the YouTube algorithm works, 
is it doesn't recommend my videos to these people. So I'm getting a completely new and bigger audience over at Savage Finance. And I'm gonna continue this type of content over here because business related content, y'all ain't interested. Cause you know, the subscribers is, cause first, you know, you get notifications to the subscribers. There's a bunch of subscribers watch. Then new YouTube moves to the second level where they start to put it on um, new people's home pages. And because the subscribers of this channel, cause I think the bulk of the subscribers of this channel, I would say 70,000 were from the storage auction days. And they're just not really interested in moving forward with progressive, you know, cause like I said, I'm gonna to continue to do content on this channel, but let me go ahead and give you the, the Cameron programming roadmap. I will continue to talk about issues because the conversation with reparations I felt was needed. And I will be talking about maybe some stimulus checks and some economic issues, but the pure business content will be over at Savage Finance because that's going to be the audience that's going to appreciate that. Because like I said, I, I've literally had two videos pop this month and that, that doesn't happen over here because the subscriber base isn't interested in that. Just ain't interested in it. So that's why the content has changed. And for all you folks, every time you leave that comment, well, you know, it used to be about business. You never commented on the business video which means you didn't support a business video. You weren't interested in business videos. So we're gonna be doing these topical uh, walks down memory lane and a lot of this type of content because that's what works over here. You know, cause I used to do a bunch of live streams and I noticed that people would come to the live streams and they would go and people would come for the live streams and there will be live streams over at Savage Finance, but th there'll be financial live streams. It will not be what was over here because uh, once again, I've kind of separated all my content. The Mindset Coach is gonna be about personal development, mindset, the esoteric, the dominant male is going to be a further exploration and being a better man. Li uh, digital Life on the Tube, I changed the name of that to Digital Money. It's gonna be about YouTube and making money online using a YouTube channel. And then there's Savage Finance and there's Hustlers Kung Fu. So that's gonna be the camera network. And the way that I'm going, I'll be making like 20, 25,000 a month AdSense across the whole network by December, which will be, that's never happened before because on this channel, I wasn't really, I wasn't interested in AdSense, you know, because I was making so much money selling courses and stuff, but now, I'm actually getting AdSense money to a high, I mean, enough to talk about, cause you know, I was getting like, you know, 500, 700, 800, maybe a thousand bucks. Now the AdSense, you know, cause this month, the AdSense is gonna be close to 7,000 and then next month it'll probably be close to 10. So that's pretty significant in addiction, in addition to course sales and consulting calls. So, you know, we're going in a different direction here and I'm gonna be talking about a lot of stuff because I'm going to work on the programming for this channel a little bit tighter. And to all you folks who's like, hey Glennie, you shouldn't talk about this because you're not an expert. Kiss my black booty. See, you have that limited mindset that you cannot talk about something because you don't feel that you're proficient in it. I'm gonna talk about whatever I wanna talk about. I had someone on Savage Finance who, who literally came from here. Well, you, you know, you're not, you didn't go to college. You're not, you know, you, you can't educate us on money. So a man who has, so a man that has hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank, million dollar company, lives in a million dollar house, has no personal debt, he can't teach you nothing about finance. You're gonna listen to someone who is in, with a high FICO score and no cash money and no cash producing assets. That, that's pretty funny because this is what I'm starting to see in the savage, the personal finance space. There's a lot of young people who are speaking about ideals and they don't have any assets or cash flow. And it's really different. It's very, very different thing that I'm bringing to the personal finance space. Uh, during my YouTube mastermind coaching call, we kind of went over Savage Finance because the video popped and everything and about the practical advice and the direction that it's going. Because it's only six months old, 
in just 10,000 subscribers. I might get to 12,000 subscribers before the end of the month, which means that I will have gained like 6,000 subscribers. That, that, that's not happening here. That's just not happening here. And part of it is I got to hit on the right theme because I got to hit the right vibe because the audience over here, the audience over here does not appreciate business content. There are some of you who do, there's some of you, but the majority of folks over here are looking for that storage auction high, buy something super cheap, sell it, make amazing margin. That's what people over here are looking for. And I'm not really doing that type of content anymore because I'm not doing storage auctions anymore. I'm never gonna buy another storage auction unit in my life. I mean, that, that phase of my life is over with. And that's what I think a lot of people are looking for and I'm just not gonna do it because someone tried to drag me back into it. And I'm a digital, I'm a digital, I'm a digital kid. I love what I do. I got a lot of stuff. I gotta work on my development map for next month. And I'm gonna hire another assistant to help me with some stuff. So it's going to be very different over here. It's gonna be way different over here. The content's gonna change. If all you folks are like, Black Bashing, you're just so sensitive. We cannot even have a conversation. Oh, he's bashing black folks. How much do you love black folks? And the answer is, the black folks of the day, I really don't care that much for. The black folks of the 70s and the 60s and the 50s, I have a massive amount of love for them because that was a different breed of people. The breed of folks now is, we securing the bag. We're getting this money. We're doing Forex. We're doing day trading. You're not trying to serve anybody. You're not trying to build any institutions. The only person you're trying to serve is yourself. And the people from the 70s to 60s, that was a different breed of people. Different, different, totally different breed of people. And that's who I, I have great affinity for. And like today, I've been listening to like Sister Sledge, Evelyn Champagne Ken, went to a little old most death and the music was so different than the garbage that they're putting out today. I mean, like when I'm in my car, I actually put it on, uh, what is it, Pandora, and I, I just go ahead and play that because I don't really listen to the radio, I don't listen to a lot of current music because it doesn't appeal to me. And I think the music is a big, big part of the culture. And the music that we have today is really harmful. A lot of it's very harmful. Not all of it, but a lot of it's very harmful. And it doesn't really serve and uplift the black community like the music of the 60s and the 70s. You know, Sister Sledge, we are family. We're, we're, we're not having stuff like that put out today. We're just not having that kind of action or interactions. We're, we're just not doing that today. So what's going to happen here at Hustlers Kung Fu? And I, I got a few ideals that I'm going to deploy over the coming months of what I'm going to do with this channel because all of, like I said, the holding company stuff, Savage Finance. The money stuff, Savage Finance. How to start a business, Savage Finance. All that's going over there because I, I create a video and I, I'm rewarded. You know, that's just not happening over here because literally at one point, because I knew it wasn't sustainable, but I was doing two to three videos a day and I still wasn't cracking six or 700 new subscribers per month. I just got almost 700 subscribers of Savage Finance in two days. And I can't get 700 subscribers here in a month. So where, where, where am I gonna put my energy and focus and time? Over at Savage Finance, there's a lot of uh, special videos I got planned. Literally, I am almost two weeks ahead because I've got video editors and that's why the, the videos over there are a little bit more crisp because I, I, don't, I don't have my editors on these videos over here. And, um, that's what's going it's going to be it's going to be topical stuff i may start doing something like o'shea duke jackson celebrity junk because o'shea has tried to create educational programming and it just didn't work and you know one of the things that i'm getting over at savage finance i'm getting a lot of love and nowhere near as many trolls 
Like I had one, I've like had to block two people over there, maybe two. I'm over here blocking folks, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people a day over here. So it, it's a different group and you know, there is, like someone said I sounded like Dave Ram because I was pushing cash. Cash is nice. Having cash money is nice. I, I guarantee you, if you had $250,000 in the bank, you would be feeling a lot more secure and you would be sleeping better. Trust me on that. And there, there's a whole bunch of folks out there that's, that want to sound smart by saying cash is trash and you should be investing and you should be doing Bitcoin and you should be in like the credit crowd. When you say that credit is better than cash, you're telling me that you have no net worth. Because if you had a net worth and you had assets, your language would be different and your comments would be different. It would be a di whole different game. And that's one of the things that I'm getting ready to do because there's a ton of programming that's gonna be dropping at Savage Finance. And um, like, I am like two weeks ahead. I'm really proud of that because I know what's going to happen and I'm starting to see which videos are going to pop and my intention is to make more videos that pop and, and get to rocking and rolling over there because I want you to think about this. If by December I'm making $25,000 a month just from AdSense, not including consulting, not including course sales. We're going to start revisiting. We're going to start revisiting in those $200,000 months. And then what I'm going to do is deploy that money into real estate in 2021. My goal is to get three properties in 2021 and, you know, turn them into rentals. And I, I, the more I, I sleep about it, I think about it every day. I look at the numbers and I say, this is really doable. And my goal is to buy three to four houses a year until I get to 25 and then I'm going to kind of slow it down and reevaluate because that's my retirement plan. 25 houses should be paying 40, 50,000 a month, which is not what I make now, but I don't even spend what I make now because essentially, you know, it's funny. I did my budget, you know, my health insurance, all this stuff and company expenses. You know, my biggest expense is this house. If I didn't have this house because I have cars, but I don't have car payments and I don't have credit card debt and I have no debt, I could live on $3,000 a month. So in retirement, if I got $50,000 a month coming in, I'm not even gonna live on all of that. I'm probably gonna live on five or 10 of it and you know, just go ahead and stack the rest and reinvest and leave some assets for the hairs. So the plan is, cause you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot of thinking. Because, you know, when I did that video, which uh, uh, the story of a very bad marriage that was very well received. And this is kind of why I'm talking about the 70s and stuff. And the, there are some folks who made some comments who clearly don't know about the disruptive male channels. And this is one of the things that many people do, because I, I think, you know, you come across a YouTuber. It's, I think not that many people are running five channels. So, you know. I guess it makes sense that they would not know about these other things, but the mindset coach life on the tube, um, the dominant male savage finance and hustlers Kung Fu. And I couldn't do this if I didn't have video editors, the video editors. I mean, I've become addicted because I'm probably never going to be in a situation where I'm not going to have video editors and people to make the thumbnails. And I'll talk about that process on savage finance because uh, now I'll talk about it on life in the two or digital money. The new, ch new channel is digital money. Um, I'm very, very excited at what the future holds. I am like tingling with anticipation because once I start making $25,000, $30,000 a month, just AdSense money, that's going to be six, seven times my living expenses, easy. And the way that I'm gonna have that go to the holding company, cause I'm gonna pay taxes on that money. Cause I'm gonna realize that as a profit. And then I'm probably gonna pay myself a salary out of that. 
because it'll be consistent because this is the thing that, you know, like I keep telling you guys, start a YouTube channel. A lot of you are like, I don't want to do the work. It's one of the best things ever. It's one of the best decisions in my life was starting that first YouTube channel. One of the best decisions I've ever made in my life because the amount of money I made from this channel has been sick. It has been sick. And the amount of money I'm going to make from YouTube going forward is going to be even sicker because I'm here to tell you that you can create so many revenue streams from YouTube. It ain't funny. I'm just saying. But that's all I got. A little chit chat for y'all. I will see you guys in the next video.